Romans 6, 24 and 25. O wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of this death? I thank God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then, with the mind, I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh, the law of sin. Ten reasons why you keep on falling into bad habits. Ten reasons why you keep on falling into bad habits. Glory to God. What is bad habits? Bad habits. Glory to God, is smoking cigarettes, sexing, not married, drinking, getting drunk, pornography, clubbing or partying, masturbating, self-sex. Ten reasons why you keep on falling into bad habit. Paul said, O oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body? Of this death. But he said I thank Jesus. My friend. Bad habits. Ten reasons why you keep on falling. Into bad habits. Those habits. My friend that the world. Is doing. Those habits. That destroy you slowly. But surely. Smoking. Give you. Uh, glory to God, lung cancer, hallelujah, drinking give you cirrhosis of the heart, masturbating may give you all kind of cloggery, my friend, smoking weed give you a hole in your heart, hey, glory to God, so 10 reasons why you keep on falling into bad habits, hey, glory to God, and number one reason, you don't have a prayer life. You don't communicate with your Savior. Daniel prayed three times a day. Hey, glory to God. And the only thing they could have found on Daniel, Daniel prayed to his God. And Daniel had an excellent spirit. Hey, glory to God. Number two, you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Hey, glory to God, you have a, you have religion, but you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. You don't talk to Jesus. You don't walk with Jesus. The only time you want to walk and talk with Jesus is only on Sunday or, or on Saturday or when you're going through the storms of life. Third, we put things first as God. Yes, we put things first. As God, yes, we worship our cars. We stay in our house. We go on trips and vacations. Hey, glory to God. Act like those things are God. That's why you're falling into habits. Fourth thing, we don't see the grace of God as precious. The grace of God is not the same grace at your table. But the grace of God is what God has given us. Hey, glory to God. It's a faith through through grace. Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Number five, you don't see this salvation as priceless. Amen. Salvation is priceless. You can't earn or you can buy salvation. It's a free gift. And the reason why you're falling, you don't see the rescuing of your soul. Hey man, you can't buy your way into the kingdom. Hallelujah. It's a free gift. Number six, you don't practice the word of God daily just on church time. My friend, we got to practice what we preach. Hey man, we got to practice the word of God. Practice make perfect. Hey, hallelujah. And perfect mean maturity. Now you've been saved for 20 years and you're still fornicating? You've been, you've been saved for 20 years and still masturbating? You've been, you've been saved for 20 years and you're still looking and lusting and lurching and wishing? Come on. Hey, glory to God. Why you keep on falling into bad habits? Because you are not praying. 
Hey, glory to God. You don't, you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus. And you put things as gods in your life. Amen. You don't see the grace of God as precious. You don't see salvation as priceless. And, and you don't practice the word of God daily. And number seven, you don't live as prince or princess in this life. Amen. We are prince and we are princess. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We are peculiar people. We are pro we are we are we are Levites, oh God. Hallelujah. A royal priesthood. Hallelujah. We are jewel in God's eyes. Number eighth reason, you're too much into your into personality. You're too sensitive. You get too offended. Hallelujah. These are the 10 P's why you keep on falling into bad habits. Come on. You've been saved too long to still fight. You've been saved too long to still be cussing. You've been saving too long to give people peace off your mind. Keep your whole mind. Hallelujah. Come on. You've been saved too long. It's time to get off the milk and get into the meat of the word of God. Come on, we're falling into bad habits. Come on, you're supposed to be not a carnal Christian. You're supposed to be a spiritual Christian. Let the spirit rule and regulate your life. There ain't no good thing to dwell in the flesh. Why are we so much fashioning the flesh? There ain't no good thing. That's why Paul said, Oh, wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of this death? This body is a death trap if you keep on living in the flesh. There ain't no good thing that dwells in the flesh. When you see the outward appearance, it's not you. It's your flesh, but the spirit, hallelujah, the spirit man. You let the spirit man dominate your life, it will dominate the flesh. That's why Paul said when I preach to other, I make myself a castaway because flesh gets in the way. Flesh might be lusting, flesh, flesh might be flirting. You're supposed to be witnessing. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Ten reasons why we keep on falling into bad habits we don't pray we play hallelujah and, and and we don't stay in the word of god paul says study to show thyself a prove unto god a workman then rightly uh, need not to be saying rightly dividing the word of truth that's why we we fall into bad habits hey glory to god number knife reason we are men pleasers we don't please god we are men pleasers. We we henpecks. We jellybacks. Hallelujah. We want to please our boss, our supervisors, our managers, the district manager, hey, the CEO, the owner. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want to please God. Because when you please God, hallelujah, I, I rather please God than please my boss boss, my manager, my supervisor, the, the, the district manager, because they are mortals. But my, my God is invisible. I please God. I'm not going to please no man or woman. I'm going to please God. And that's why you keep on falling, because you're pleasing man. Hey, glory to God. What about Bible say in, 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 in Luke, the 16th, 6th chapter, verse 26, he say, whoa, what is woe? Woe mean trouble unto you when all men speak well of you, for so did the fathers to the false prophets. My friend, woe mean like you, you telling the animal, stop. But woe mean trouble unto you when you, you, you are man pleaser, reverend, wonderful. I don't want to be reverend, wonderful. I want to be a reverend. I don't, I don't even want people to reverence me because you ought to be reverencing God. So don't give me the title of being a reverence. No, reverence God. God is the only one you ought to reverence. Hey, glory to God. So people say reverent. No, uh, no, excuse me. I'm bro you can call me brother. But don't reverence me. I'm not God. Amen. 
Number 10th reason why we keep on falling into bad habits. Number 10th reason, don't have the prophet. You don't have the prophet living in you. You go see the prophet. Anytime a new prophet come to town, you want to go spend your, all your money in a prophecy. What thus say the Lord to you? Only thing to do is read the Bible. The only thing to do is pray and let God speak to you. You don't need another man to tell you what thus say the Lord. Open your Bible and read what thus say the Lord about you. Hey, glory to God, but people spend thousands of dollars just to hear a word. And it's their own word because they went to bed with some, eat some pizza or some cabbage or had some pizza hut pizza, glory to God. Or you, or you eat too late and you went to bed and had a nightmare or have a dream. Come on. Do you have the prophet living in you? What is a prophet? I'm so glad you asked. The prophet is the Holy Spirit. A person. Hey, glory to God. The Holy Spirit is not a liquid. It's not a radar being. It's not a female spirit. It's not, glory to God, and the mother of heaven. It's not Mary. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. The prophet is the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit, you must be holy to keep the Holy Spirit working continually in your life. Amen. John 16, 13 say, How be it when the Spirit, hallelujah, when He, the Spirit of truth, will come, He will guide you into all truth. For He shall not speak of Himself, but whatsoever He shall hear, that shall He speak. And ye shall show you things to come. Why are we falling into bad habits? Because we don't have the prophet. We don't have the Holy Spirit to guide us, to lead us into all truth. Amen. If you have the Holy Spirit, my friend, it will keep you from falling. Unto him that able to keep you from falling. Stop living, listen to the to, to uh to uh Donald McCurkin, we fall down, we get up, we fall. No, my friend. I know the Bible says a righteous man falls seven times. But you say unto him that able to keep you from falling and to present you faultless to the present with exceeding joy to the only wise God, our Savior, Jesus Christ. So I'm telling you, if you want God to keep you from falling, you got to have the Holy Ghost. Okay, if you just got a ghost that's not efficient or Casper is not fishing or man ghost that's not fishing. Or Ikamasanda, that's not fishing. But you must have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, glory to God. You must be holy. <clears throat> that's why you keep on falling into habits. You keep on smoking, drinking, sexing, masturbating, watching pornography. Because you, you don't have the Holy Spirit to lead you and guide you into all truth. My friend. To keep you from falling, you must have the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit in your life.